I'd like to call this evening's planning commission of the city of Greer to order. If there's anybody present on the commission who would need to disqualify themselves from the cases being reviewed this evening, please state your name and case for the record and complete a recusal form from staff. Okay, we still have anybody. So at this time, at the time of the case, vote on person just need to step down from the panel. Uh, first order of business, we will now elect a vice chair for the remainder of 2024. I move we elect Wal Walden Jones. This is vice chair. Vice chair. This is vice chair. Vice chair. Oh. <laughs> at this point, we'd like to have a nomination for vice chair. Who's the chair? I've, I've moved into the chair, I guess. Yeah. The vice chair moved up to the chair. chair. Well, that wasn't stated. No. Well, state well I, just nominated, I nominated him to be chair. What do we do first? Chair. So, because Walden was vice chair and he agreed to serve as chair. We don't have to vote. You don't have to vote on okay. chair, <laughs> but you will have to vote on a vice chair to replace Mr. Jones since Appreciate he is the now the chair. <laughs> If we were more argumentative, I would challenge those parliamentary procedures, but I'm not. <laughs> it's well, just I, what I wanted to happen anyway. <laughs> I did ask Tammy. She she agreed. <laughs> so. I know I'm better than she was. And does Who's this? We have a nomination. Have Ryan. Nominations? I'll, can I nominate? I'll nominate myself if nobody's going to do it. I'll, I'll, live with that. I'll nominate you. Second. Yeah, I'll, I'll nominate, nominate you, Ryan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. All right. Nominate yourself. So we have a second. You can now. Call for vote. Well, who is the second? Y'all are wild tonight. Paul was the okay. second. All right, Ms. Jones? Yes. Mr. Aserno? Yes. Mrs. Medford? Yes. Mr. Booker? Mm, yes. <laughs> Mr. Lamb? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. All right, congratulations. A close vote. Yeah, All right, so now we'll move on to the public hearing. During this time, we will hear. We will open and close a public hearing for each request. We will start with the staff giving the basic information for the request and the applicant presenting their request. Afterwards, anyone wishing to speak for or against the request will do so and also have the opportunity. All speakers should come to the podium to make the comments, beginning with their name and address. If you have not already signed in, please sign in for the staff to speak. Um, Okay, so at this time, we will open the public hearing for AN 24-04. Staff? This is docket number AN 24-04. The address is Hood Road. The parcel ID number is G00600301110. The existing zoning is unzoned Greenville County, and the request is to annex and zone to manufacturing and logistics uh, with the intent of building a fire and police training facility. Here's the aerial of the parcel. Here's the zoning map. Um, the subject parcel is currently uh, Greenville County. The surrounding parcels in purple are zone manufacturing and logistics. Uh, here's the future land use map. Um, the future land use in gray is manufacturing and logistics. Here's a photo <coughs> of condi existing conditions at the site. And that completes my presentation. All right. Is anybody from the city present? <laughs> All right. What would you like to tell us about the project? <laughs> um, I don't have much to add. Yeah. So the parcel that it's going to be combined with, as you can see, is already an existing fire station. Um, so they will be knocking down the large um, training facility on the left and then um, building a new, much larger um, training facility for both police and fire. We'll have room for training um, as well as like classroom training too. Okay. All right. Apparently we don't have anybody signed up to speak, but I will ask the crowd, is there anybody in the audience that would like to speak on or against this project? Seeing none. Close the public hearing for AN 24-04. At this time, we will open the public hearing for AN 24-05. This is docket number AN 24-05. The address is Highway 101 and Reedville Road. The parcel ID numbers are 5-35-00-079.01, 5-41-00-0001, 5-41-00-0001, 5-41-00-0001, 5-41-00-0001, 5-41-00-0001, 5-41-00-0001, 5-41-00-0001, 5-41-00-0001, 5-41-00-0001,
5-059.00 and 5-35-00-080.01. The existing zoning is unzoned Spartanburg County and the request is to annex and zone to commercial corridor with the intent of building a gas station and car wash. Uh, here's the aerial of the three parcels. Here's the zoning map. Uh, the surrounding zoning uh, for the parcels in purple are manufacturing and logistics. That is not correct. Um, commercial corridor. I believe it's commercial corridor. <coughs> <coughs> Here's the feature land use map. Um, it is suburban neighborhood in yellow. The green dot uh, designates a neighborhood center and the purple line designates a transitional corridor. Um, here is a photo of the existing conditions at the three parcels uh, that completes my presentation. All right, thank you. Is the applicant present? Thank you. Do you mind coming up forward and stating your name and address? Uh, my name is Greg Minton, 309 Ellington Creek Lane, Greer, South Carolina. But uh, I'm with the Sphinx Company, and uh, obviously this is our project, but we're excited about bringing in these three parcels. Uh, this is gonna be part of a uh, larger development we hope in the future. We've been working with the surrounding property owner that owns the remaining acreage around us, but we're bringing these two, three parcels in uh, and we'll work in conjunction with the uh, surrounding property owners as we build this to create all the DOT access that will serve the entire acreage uh, as part of our developments. We've been working with them to coordinate our plans uh, with DOT and also with the, uh, for their future development plans. But we'll have our tunnel car wash and our Sphinx gas station will be on the three parcels. The two parcels uh, that are shown will be where the car wash is and then the smaller parcel towards the center of the property will be where the gas station is located. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anybody in the audience that like speak on or behalf or against this project? Seeing none, we will close the public hearing for AM 24-05. At this time, we will open the public hearing for RZ 24-07. This is docket number RZ 24-07. The address is Highland Street. Um, the parcel ID numbers are T0090402030301 um, and the remaining three share the same prefix but different last four digits. So 39004000 and 4100. The existing zoning is commercial corridor and the request is to rezone to traditional neighborhood. Here's the aerial of the site. The parcels in purple are zoned commercial corridor and the gray is unzoned Greenville County. Uh, the future land use is suburban commercial. Here's a <coughs> photo of existing conditions at the four parcels and that completes my presentation. All right, thank you. Is the applicant present? Good evening, Michael Roth, 26 Elmsley Road, Greenville, South Carolina. Um, looking to bring in these four lots uh, from commercial to a residential use for single family attached and detached product. Um, if you could tell from the maps, these four lots are accessed off of Highland. Uh, I believe this is leftover land from the uh, uh, Panera Bread or McAllister, McAllister development that was on 29. And so you cannot access from 29. So there's a probably a 20 foot uh, retaining wall there. So it makes sense to bring it to residential. This fits the surrounding lane use, the everything around on Highland Street's residential. And that's, that's what I'm asking for tonight. Um, thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone present to speak against or for this project? Seeing none, we will close the public hearing for RZ 24-07. At this point, we will now move into the new business portion of the meeting. Um, this is where staff will make the official recommendation on each item. If the commission has any questions of the applicant staff or anyone in the audience, it is within their right to ask those questions. 
The board will vote on each request during this time. After the commission has voted on your case, please contact planning and zoning staff for further recommendations. At this time, I will open up the business meeting for AN24-04. Once again, this is AN24-04. The address is Hood Road. Um, the existing zoning is unzoned Greenville County, and the request is to annex and zone to manufacturing and logistics. Here's the aerial. Here's the zoning map. Here's the feature land use. Here's the photo of existing conditions. Once again, the request is to annex and zone to manufacturing and logistics uh, for a police uh, and fire training facility. Uh, the surrounding zoning is mostly industrial uh, and staff recommend approval. All right, thank you. Any questions, comments, motions? Motion to approve. We have a Second. motion. Mr. Dean, have it. All right, Ms. Jones. Now that he's advised. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Aserna. Yes. Mrs. Medford. Yes. Mr. Booker. Yes. Mr. Lamb. Yes. Mr. Jones. Yes. The motion passes. Please contact the staff for next steps. <laughs> All right. At this time, we will open up the business meeting. Well, excuse me. We will open up the business meeting for AN 24-05. This is AN 24-05. The address is Highway 101 and Reedville Road. And the request is to annex and zone to Commercial Corridor. Um, here's the aerial of the parcels. Here's the zoning map. Here's the future land use. Um, this is the existing conditions. Once again, the request is to annex and zone to Commercial Corridor um, with the intent of creating a gas station and car wash. Um, the surrounding zoning is commercial corridor uh, or vacant. Staff recommend approval. All right, thank you. Bill move. <laughs> you want to get down early? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess, is there any questions or comments of staff or the applicant? Can I be a second anyway? If not, I guess. What was the what was the void space between the two? <coughs> Excuse me. There's a so there's three lots there. There's a there's a pathway or a right of way. What is that between the so, three lots? So there's actually a larger commercial parcel um, that will be developed here in the rear, and they will share access here and here, and okay. up here. Um, so they're going to develop um, the access here as part of their um, their site. Okay. Is that another parcel that's just not in the annexed into the city? Yes, yeah, so that's actually uh, owned by a bank. Um, so that'll probably come okay. in an, as an out parcel at some point. Miss Miss Jones, I think you did make a motion, didn't you? I did, and it failed. Mm -hmm. It didn't fail. I, I'll second Miss Jones' motion <laughs> to approve. <coughs> All right, Ms. Jones? Yes. Mr. Aserno? Yes. Ms. Medford? Yes. Mr. Booker? Yes. Mr. Lamb? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. If this motion passes, please contact staff for next steps. At this time, we will open up the business meeting for RZ24-07. This is RZ24-07. The address is Highland Street. The existing zoning is commercial corridor and the request is to rezone to traditional neighborhood. Um, here's the aerial, here's the zoning map, here's the future land use. Uh, this is the photo of existing conditions. Once again, the request is to annex and zone to commercial corridor. Um, the surrounding land uses range from commercial to residential and staff recommend approval. All right. Is there any discussion questions for the <coughs> staff? Uh, is that one, that's one parcel or that's four separate parcels? Four separate parcels? Four separate and parcels. each parcels, I guess oh. is the plan to put houses on each one of them? Yes, that's correct. Okay. And they're wide, they're wide enough to do that? Yeah, they're 50 feet wide. Okay. Yeah, it's, a, it's an acre, 
in, in total. So they're about 50 feet wide, and they're, they're fairly deep parcels. Yeah. Okay. Questions, comments, questions? <coughs> How many houses are you going to put in each parcel? Um, it's a good question. I'm not sure yet. So uh, the, the <coughs> density that we're asking for, traditional neighborhood, allows for um, single family attached and detached. I'm, I think it's no more than 10 per acre, if I'm correct. So you can't, based off that, we can't do more than 10. But I think with the lot lines, you can't really do that anyways. Um, so, I mean, we're toying between just a single family home, which is my, what we might just do, or we may do a duplex or maybe a single family home <coughs> with an ADU. We're not sure yet. They would, they would be for sale product though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other questions, motions, discussion? So moved. We have a motion. We have a second. second. Ms. Jones. Yes. Mr. Asserno? Yes. Ms. Medford? Yes. Mr. Booker? Yes. Mr. Lamb? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. The motion passes. Contact staff for next steps. All right. At this time, we will open up a business <coughs> meeting for PP 24-03. Uh, this is uh, PP 24-03. Um, the address is Kist Road. The parcel ID number is 5-35-00-038.00 and 5-35-00-038.01. Um, this is a preliminary plat approval request. Um, so Hickory Ridge is a 99 unit single family detached subdivision located off Kist Road. The project meets all applicable regulations with two different lot sizes throughout the development, 11.95 acres of open space um, with both active and passive amenities. Staff recommends approval. All right. How do you get in there? I assume the applicant's here. Okay. Um, any questions, discussion for the applicant or staff? What is the what is the average lot size? Are the you said there's two different lot sizes? There's two different lot sizes. Um, so one is a 75 to 10,000 square foot lot, and the other is a 5,000 to 7,500 square foot lot. Uh, two car garages. Yes. If you'd like to come up and introduce up. yourselves, yeah. you can. You got how much room you got behind those garages before you get to the sidewalk? So Nicholas Myers, Pulte Homes, uh, I'm the <coughs> builder, and then we've got uh, Dalton Burbage. I'm representing Seaman and Whiteside today, engineering firm. Okay. Thank you. How, how much room you got behind the garage, between the garage and the street, or the garage and the sidewalk? There's a 20 foot um, building setback. setback, so you'll have 20 feet from the building. That's what I like to hear. Let's start. And the driveways are approximately 16 feet wide, so you'll probably have around 20 feet of entry to the garage. So you can get two cars because the garage is going to be filled with junk. Two car garage, yes, sir. <laughs> Little stuff. Other than cars, but anyway, hi. Right. What are the amenities that we're providing for this neighborhood? Pool, cabana, playground, fire pit. It's down in the mm -hmm. bottom yeah, here. It's, it's down here by the existing creek that's on site. No swimming pool. He, I Is just said swimming pool. Oh. He said yes. You got one? Okay. Down at the bottom. I just see with my shaky yeah. hand. And I know you listed the, the address, but what, what is this near in relation it's to directly what? directly adjacent to Chestnut Grove, which is a Meritage community on Kiss Road. On the top right. Is this the site that the school originally yep. came in at? It okay. is. So this is just north of Reedville Road, um, the southernmost part of the city. How many units? 
Is it going to be? Yeah, we ninety nine. We had an okay. annexation a couple yeah. of months ago. So. They could have built more. So, the, the, you know, we, we had all the people right. here objecting, but then they got happy. Yep. That's right. <laughs> yep. I think that was the biggest concern for some of the folks that I talked with was the number of units. So I'm glad you honored that. First, they were complaining because it was a school. Mm -hmm. They wanted houses, then they got houses, and they were complaining. How do you enter this neighborhood? I just, I'm just. Say that again. There's, there's a road. It's, it's, there's a road down the middle. Yeah. Well, that's cute. Yeah. It's 75 percent on one side. And I keep forgetting that. Is the DOT required any road improvements, I guess, or turn lanes, I reckon? Or? There are. Um, and then we've got, I believe, some widening to do on Cox Road as well. Yeah, that's the main DOT, not issue, but needs to be resolved. Is you can see, it shows, it's a hatch. You can barely see it from this scale, but Cox will be um, expanded on the property side, but not adjacent. So it'll just increase on the property owner side. Is Cox Road a county road? Uh, it is, and it's also we also do have a turn lane on Ki on Kist as well. It's actually ours now. We annexed it with the site. Okay, there you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. And both uh, Kist and Cox will have sidewalk connections along the road. Okay. All right. Sounds so good. When I was on Kist Road, it was awfully narrow. So are we doing anything about the size? I think they've actually repaved that here recently and added a foot on each side. The county did. County actually did a repaving recently and they widened it just a little bit on both sides. So it's a little more generous now. Um, it doesn't qu feel quite so narrow. Okay. <coughs> Comments, questions, discussions, motions? Move to approve. Second. Ms. Jones? Yes. Mr. Asserno? Yes. Mrs. Medford? Yes. Mr. Booker? Yes. Mr. Lamb? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. The motion passes contact planning staff for next steps. Thank you. That concludes our new business portion of the meeting. Um, now we go into other business planning and staff report. Heather's going to pull up um, our um, update on our plating advisory committee cases. Um, but while she's doing that, I'd just like to welcome Ms. Medford to the Planning Commission. We're happy Thank to have you. Thank you very you. much. Um, we, we, Mr. Holland didn't get to have a last meeting after he announced that he wouldn't be returning since we didn't meet last um, month. But we certainly, just for the record, want to thank him for his service. And I believe council will be... Um, doing a recognition of him as well. Um, but welcome to the group. Happy to have you. And yeah. I, I would like to go back. I did miss the meeting minutes. I, I was just going to let it slide, oh, but yeah. you can if you want. So I would like, after we get done with the pl staff planning, <laughs> we can get through that. We're just going to vote on both of them next meeting. <laughs> she does really uh, She's going to let you go home. <laughs> Um, okay, so these are all of our um, planning advisory committee cases between April to the end of June um, of this year. Um, so I won't read through all of this. Um, we just saw this one. It's the fire and police uh, training facility. Um, you just saw their annexation application. They've already been through PAC and showed us the site. Um, okay. So here it is. Um, you can see so they have this big building right here that will be the majority of their training facility and then I think one of these is going to be a new like training building so they may burn stuff in it and practice and I think one of them might be storage maybe it's also a training um, so that's what the site will look like all right so the next one is um, the basketball courts at um, Stevens Field. So these are the basketball courts that they'll be moving from Victor Gym, where they currently are, and they're moving them down the road um, to Stevens Field. Um, so here's the aerial. What's, what's up? Oh, I was just going to use the little, this thing. 
Um, so they'll be putting them at the front of the site um, close to North Line right there. Um, you can see the, the Legion is staying. Um, are these indoor American or Legion. outdoor? These are outdoor courts. Okay. Um, it's two courts. Um, they're going to build some parking. Um, they're going to add in some sidewalk on Snow Street, hopefully. And the American Legion will actually have a really nice little parking area. So, if you guys have any questions, you're welcome to interrupt. Um, so this one is, um, a, you, I believe you may have seen this before. This is actually in the Highway 101 Reedville Road area. Um, it is 84 townhome units. This previously was um, apartments, but with the UDO, they were able to change um, to townhomes uh, by right when apartments didn't work out. Um, so this is just south of where Spinks will be. Spinx is, so this is Reedville Road, um, and Spinx is like up here in like one of these parcels. Um, so here's the site that we saw at PAC. Um, I think they may be sticking with this, this design. They'll have two commercial out parcels over here um, in all the townhomes. Where's the sewer for that property? It's coming right down 101. Um, right here. Like, it's right off the back of 101. Like, what development's bringing it down 101? I guess it's... There's something further south going toward Woodruff? I'm, it's not coming from the south. It's coming from the north, as I understand it. I'm honestly not sure. Waverly... That's not talked even CPW, to a, is it? Talk to us about easements um, with those two out parcels. They've been coordinating with them, but beyond that, I'm not certain. So this looks like it backs up to that neighborhood that was just approved. No, so this is actually in a it's close to it. No, that, um, here's okay. Kiss Road right here. This is it's further north. Okay, but when we're done, I'll pull up GIS and well, we this can look at where actually, all these parcels I think are. This, well, no, um, this is Kiss Road, so it's a couple mm -hmm. miles. Mm -hmm. The same area. So, <coughs> um, so this is um, Woods Mortuary Crematory. Um, they are subdividing a portion of their memorial um, gardens off of Gap Creek Road, um, and they're building a crematory on the site. So it's actually, so they kind of did a giant flag lot but they ended up, they're gonna to connect to one of their existing roads and it'll be in this this area right here. So it'll be way back on the site. That already came to us once. Um, yes, uh, I think for rezoning this mm -hmm. um, little portion Why that they Why does it have did. to be on a separate lot? Is that just what so they want? It's actually zoned residential right now. Um, <laughs> Which did gardens. not allow a crematory, so. Yeah, so we had to zone commercial yeah, corridor, which is, yeah. it is all along Wade Hampton to the north, so. <coughs> um, but that's it, they, um, they're working on getting their uh, plan review in. Um, oh, so wow, they have moved really fast on those projects, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so here is the. Uh, Bloody <laughs> burn the hole in the pockets. The parking garage. Oh. Um, here is, uh, this doesn't show both parcels. Um, this, this actually includes this parcel as well. Um, this is off of trade, um, just to orient. Um, and here you can see. How many see cars, it. how many lot cars is that parking lot? I'm not exactly sure because we didn't see all the layers. Um, I find do it, you remember? I want to say it's, it's close to 500 spaces. Um, I've heard five, what is the existing one that built, was built? I think 385. That'll be bigger. Um, Whoever would have thought Greer would need one as well as two. So we still have some access issues to work out with adjacent parcels, but for the most part. What's there right now? Parking lot. Right oh, now it's like a parking field. lot and the old gun store. That's right there. Gun store. Oh, okay. All right. Um, yep. Yeah, so. Um, this one, yes, it needs a little more work. Um, 
Okay, so this is off of Town Center Drive, um, Interested Industries Home Improvement Retail. Um, so they actually are gonna subdivide off a portion of this site. And I think, were they gonna take mm -hmm. a piece of this one as so this well? This is behind the uh, Bank of Travelers Rest and all that. Um, yeah, so mm -hmm. Target's across the Target, street. Okay. And then um, this is like Vitamin Shop, I think. That's the Fud Ruckers and all that right there. Right, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. um, yep, that's right back there. Um, so this is the site that they have. Um, it's part showroom and then some warehouse type storage. Industries facility. What does that mean? Is that? I, a, I honestly tried to Google it and I couldn't find. Is that anything. actually a name, a true name of? <laughs> It might be like a shell name, um, <laughs> yeah, but it's supposed to, I don't know, did they describe the business? Yeah, it's like pack? flooring, um, counter tile, like basically they're gonna demo some rooms in the front and then the back will have, you know, slabs of things. <laughs> so it's more like a showroom. Showroom, okay. Yeah. Hmm. So, um, so this is off Brushy Creek. Um, this is, oh, this is the uh, Brushy Creek Towns commercial out parcel. So this is the other side that um, they were planning to develop into commercial. This is um, the Suds Laundry, is that right? Yeah, um, Green Laundry Lounge. Oh, okay. Um, right. That's There's the Spinks across gym. the street right there. There's a gym yeah. there. Um, so this is um, their development proposal and you can see they have an amenity cool. there on the mm. side yeah. and a little trail or sidewalk well, this is for the nice residents um, and and very interesting parking lot mm. <laughs> it's very inefficient <laughs> <laughs> it's something <laughs> So that's it. That's our last site. Um, I, I will save what we saw recently in July for the next time uh, in three months. Um, so Is that way the, we have a clean cutoff. the Chase Bank going on, right, I guess, kind of across the street from Five Guys? Is that in the city? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's currently grading. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, they came due to me not following the agenda i'm gonna go back and ask if we receive the minutes from last meeting on april 15th 2024. i trust everyone there were five minutes i moved to approve second all right ms jones yes mr Aserno. yes ms medford yes mr booker yes mr lane yes mr jones yes all right. So real quick, um, before we adjourn, just to orient you guys. Um, so this is Highway 101. Um, this is the um, townhome parcel that we just saw from PAC. Mm -hmm. um, these are the Spinks parcels right here. Uh -huh. Reedville Road, the Kist Reedville intersection, and then this is the preliminary plat that we saw tonight are these two parcels. Okay. And this is um, Chestnut Grove up here, which I'm gonna click yeah. on every single one. So there's a lot going on. That's the right. bottom cool area. They're gonna have a lot of construction going. Right. On. The new Greer. The new Greer. Those people were complaining at the last. Uh, so any any anything you can disclose or let us know about that other parcel that's kind of wrapped around the Sphinx? This one. Um. It's all speculative at this point, but my understanding is that they've always had um, kind of a retail strip with a potential grocery store anchor yeah. as their plan, um, but we have not seen any any plan review or or layout for it. And they've, that story exists, I mean, it's the same thing they've been saying since they first mm -hmm. came before us well over a year ago. Yeah, Sphinx came um, for an annexation. They started the process and then they let it expire. I think they were trying to work out cross access with the other parcel and DOT, um, but it seems like they've gotten it together now um, because we have it going to PAC uh, this, um, the 25th, right? This next PAC. So it'll yeah, be coming to PAC next. Next week, next Thursday. Next Thursday. 
so it seems like they've kind of worked out some of their kinks and it's going to move forward this time. They're moving very quick. So much better. Um, I got a, well, it doesn't have to be an official question, but we need some training videos. Okay. <laughs> now, I still got the last one you said. I could watch some of them. All right. <coughs> but I thought I'd give you an opportunity to. Yep, we are halfway through the year, so. Get I'm those. sitting in the offering oh. for training. She's way behind. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you get like 18 months. Mm -hmm. First year. All right, that's everything. Do we have a motion to adjourn? So moved.